Thank you for tuning in to the Law Nation Film Review. As we take a deeper look at David Irving, his skill set, his ability to attack to the ball and be aggressive, those are things that jumped out to me as I looked at this film. Now, collectively, Cowboys don't have a natural defensive end at all. The only one that I saw just viewing the tape is uh, Demarcus Lawrence. Um, outside of that, just the, how, how the Cowboys defense is. But this team of misfits, this team of orphans, uh, Rod found a way to get this guy to play everywhere on the line. Now, I must admit, this guy is six foot seven, 284 pounds, and he has like this strength, this ability to just tack to the ball and just plug up running lanes and plug up passing lanes. Those are things that jumped out to me on tape is, is that raw ability of him having those type of skill sets. Now, uh, you're going to see that he's raw in a lot of aspects. He's just raw in, those, in, in that skill set. But as he lined out out wide, you can see that he's able to elude or, or escape the actual running back and get to the quarterback. Those are things that I like to see. Those are things that I, 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 that I see out here on tape and film and things of that nature. Um, as you're going to see here, as he lined out wide, He's able to get by or, or escape the actual running back and get to the ball. That present alone on defense is just things that that just remarkable. Now, as you can see here, that he's lined out wide. Now he's gonna have the help of 96, 94, I meant to say, and 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 76 as well. But one on one against the right tackle, David Irvin is able to be aggressive enough to win that battle. And, and when he win those battles, that's just a, a, a lovely thing to see. And those things that I like to see too as well. It's him winning those one-on-one. So as time progressed, this guy is so raw in so many elements that he can bring in that, that extra just aggressive approach to the to defensive line, which is what they need. Now watch how he bat this ball down. He's using that six foot seven frame. Nation behind Savage. Not much there for the Texans there. And David Irving is a guy in that rotation on defense. Uh, the Cowboys need him to play big uh, the first four games of the season, especially with Demarcus Lawrence out with the suspension. The way of the first quarter, let's take another look. Just able to go for the ball. I love to see that off of defense alignment. That ability to just tack the ball and get the ball out. Now watch how he played down on this line here. He's going to stop the run. And he's going to be able to just jump on the snap. The explosiveness that I was talking about is his ability to just climb into the to that box and just get to the runner. Those are things that I like to see. And those are things that comes time in and time out on time and time again on plays. He lined to the far, far, far uh, end of that particular defense. And watch, he's in between 96. Number 42 is going to come down into the box. Don't worry about that. He got number... 73, I think, on the offensive alignment just shook at this point. Shaked him off and just able to get to the get to his assignment. Those are things that, that you like to see when he crashed down into the box. Just being explosive, going straight to the ball. Explosive, get skinny, turn, and get to the ball. Creating pressure is, is a main thing. Sometimes pressure is better than sacks, but at this time, he just using that ability to just or pressure is kind of equal to sacks. I'm not going to say better, but watch how he spin scoop. He don't have a lot of bend, so you're going to see him line up into the interior. Now, when he does line out to the outside, it's a give or take, you know, with his skill set because he don't have that bend that you naturally want to see because he don't have that many weapons in his toolbox. But he can use the bull rush. He can use the strength. He can use the six foot seven frame and things of that nature that he has to, to get pressure to the quarterback as he uh, calls uh, that play to be rushed. Now, here's a good example of technique. He's not going to be able to just chop his arm and spin or get bent and get to the quarterback. But he's still able to just be in the way and cause cause the quarterback to throw the ball off. So. It's a 50-50 chance, and that's why you're probably not going to see him line out to the outside as much as you would like. Now, the offensive guard, is going to, offensive tackle basically, is going to allow him to get into his body. He's not able to get a loose or get away, and, and the rest is history. A, a, a traditional defensive end, a pass rusher, learns how to get low and bend and scoop around. Now, 
as we're talking about the three technique or or being able to play into the inside you know he can clog run lanes and just be aggressive he's strong got very powerful hands and can create the turnover so when a quarterback is near him he's going for the ball he's been coached and taught very well to go for the ball in that scenario so those are things that i like when i looked at the tape as you can see he gets small gets skinny can give me the ball that's what i like that's why i like what he brings to the team all right on this play here you can see him lined up wide into the interior of that particular defensive line you're going to not shoot you're not going to overplay the gap playing sound discipline and just being able to play within himself not playing too much playing discipline not being too aggressive on that play just being able to stay within his assignment shed the block and get to the runner that's things that i liked when i saw on that film now also he lined up wide on this play here but not all the way to the defensive end it's like a wide three tech neat there and uh he's able to just bat that ball down remember i was talking about passing lanes he's using that long range of six foot seven body to jump up and knock the ball down that's almost equivalent to a turnover to me as his ability to just get that ball ball down those things i like now here he is lined out as well as not all the way wide as you want but he's able to be parallel to the line and get the runner and back down those that's a zero game that's a zero game so he's able to flex to the inside like i said he playing that three and he's able to here's the audible here's the audible he knows it's going to be a run play burst burst shed the block you're not getting by his range he's six foot seven so he used that long frame line up into the inside again and like i say he's powerful enough to just knock these uh defensive uh, knock these offensive linemen out out of the way watch how he's used that long frame and that strength get off of me 71 i want the ball that's what i want that's what i like all right so here he is lined up just close to the line right up under the center and give me the ball shed that block i think he was held by three players he was blocked by three players line up under the nose we're playing the one technique on this play all right we're gonna look back and look at the tape okay playing it right under the center i'm talking about this is normally for a 300 pounder but i'm not worried about that i'm gonna take on three get off of me i want the ball and he's attacking playing aggressive all right here's david over playing three technique line up into the inside between the center and the guard and watch how he just be explosive and get to the quarterback those are things i like to watch explosives splat and bam now here he is taking over i'm talking about just taking over the right tackle knock him out the way give me the ball that explosiveness is just key to this guy's skill set watch how he makes this guard his baby or pretty much just tackle his baby watch how he just just be able to use that sheer strength get off of me you don't want any <laughs> and that's what you're going to see throughout this guy's uh, film and his development you don't have like i said he don't have a lot of weapons in his toolbox but the weapons that he does have he learned to utilize that weapon get off of me able to just rush that pass and create a turnover i think he was able to hit uh, the quarterback's arm or elbow on that play to get into to get that ball thrown out too quick and that's what i like i think they they trying to put a running back in it in the tackle on him that just wasn't enough get off of me drive made the quarterback rush his throw and create turnovers that element that he brings to the team is just remarkable i like that so here he is lying out wide again i think this play they're gonna try to use two of them get off of me and give me the sack it just it's just this that's the power the skill set that this guy have we line out wide and you would love to have him line out wide traditionally and just ha let that be his permanent home but he has to learn how to bend and create more moves maybe a swim or incorporate different techniques to get to the quarterback but i would love to see him out playing this position maybe for a full year or so look how he's just aggressive and just come create pressure tip that ball and was able to have that pass off mark just using that frame that six foot seven frame to be able to get to the quarterback those are things that i love when i saw this film 
Look at it. Tip the ball. That's what you're talking about. Being aggressive. All right, here he is lined out wide again. And like I say, he just don't have all the techniques that you need, but he has that instinct to, to stop this sure touchdown and just being able to just stop uh, Matthew Stafford and make him throw a, a, an ill-advised pass. And so that's what he brings to the team. And he's going to read the rollout. He's going to have the sense and the, and the skill set enough to just have that speed and that long body frame to catch Matt, Matthew Stafford. The throw away. That's good because anything else, it could have been a touchdown. I like that ability. All right, here he is lined up. Like I say, line up playing the one. Is he playing the one on this play? I think so. Line up right under the center. Watch explosive, get off of me, rip, pull, rip, and go straight for the quarterback. Hey, that's a beast move right there. All right, line up under center, one on one, mono e mono, right? Mono e mono. Come on, here's the play. Rest for a second, call it out to this guy. I'm coming out to you. It's a long down, so let me split, rip, pull, rip, and go for the quarterback. Hey. This kid is raw in a lot of aspects, but he can't just find a permanent home because of his ability to just play anywhere on that line, just to be that flexible. Create that, just another bat down pass. Just once this guy can figure out where they're going to put him at on this line or get some extra added help to the outside, for, cr for crying out loud, I had number 58 playing defensive end. <laughs> so... So that's something that once, you know, this team can maybe find a defensive end. Team got sky's the limit. A natural defensive end, like I said. There's only one natural defensive end on this game, and that's Demarcus Lawrence. But they got this team of misfits. These mighty orphans. They're able to create this turnover. Just able to get to the ball. Give me the ball. Create turnover. Bring that explosive package to the game. Those are things that I saw throughout this film and tape. Just David Irvin being a wrecking havoc out there on, on the field and just being who he is. Just watch how he lined up, playing his three tech, get pulled, rip, and able to get to the ball. So he uses those power moves to get to the ball and get to the quarterback or get to the runner. That's his ability. That's his skill set. And that's my time. I really thank you guys for tuning in and watching the Law Nation film review. Now, before I run, I just want to tell you guys, please feel free to leave comments, feedback, and uh, the next player that you want me to do film on, as you can see as he gets to the quarterback on this play, that's been my time. I thank you guys for yours, and remember, you're listening to nothing but the best. May God bless until I see you guys again. How about them Cowboys? I'm out. Peace.